Hey guys, and welcome to Neat Video Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to remove Flickr in Premiere Pro with the help of Neat Video. Flickr can be global, where the brightness of the whole frame periodically changes, making the frame lighter or darker. This is called Frame Flickr. The other type is Local Flickr. It occurs when only some parts of the frame are affected by Flickr. In this case, we have Flickr only in specific areas. This particular local flicker is called rolling bands, and you may encounter it in more clips than you'd expect. Now, let's see how we can remove this local flicker. First, add neat video to the clip. Select the frame and click on Prepare and Build. Since this frame is detailed, I'll use the generic profile option. Don't forget to adjust the generic noise slider. It looks good. Okay, now let's jump to the Adjust and Preview tab. Here we have a fantastic tool called Filter Settings Check. Click on it and you'll see a step by step tuning guide. Click one for the Noise Level Check and ensure the blue mask covers all or almost all of the static objects. This should be sufficient. Now, go back and select the second step, Local Flicker Check. Here, we have another mask, and the gray spots you see are either moving objects or flicker. Click the Play All button to see the flicker in action. Adjust the slider until the mask covers all or almost all of the static objects. After adjusting the local flicker slider, you can proceed with the repeated frames and spatial filter checks if necessary. Now, let's compare the before and after. Looks good, doesn't it? The local flicker is gone. Now, let's consider a scenario where you've just adjusted the local flicker slider and the blue mask has covered all of the areas of the frame where there was no movement, but you still have flicker. Most likely, you have frame flicker as well and you need to adjust the frame flicker slider. I'll show you another example, the one you saw at the beginning of this tutorial. In this clip, the whole frame becomes lighter and darker. To reduce frame flicker, apply neat video, select a frame for profiling, Open Neat Video's window and build a noise profile. Use Profile Check to ensure that all of the noise is gone. This is sufficient. Now switch to the Adjust and Preview tab. Go through the Noise Level Check and Local Flicker Check. The noise level check looks good, so I'll leave it untouched and go straight to the local flicker check. Play all. As you can see, there is some local flicker at the top, so I just need to adjust this slider slightly. This is good. Click finish. Now increase the frame flicker slider. This is much better, but there is still some flicker in this clip. I'll go higher. All the way to the top, actually, as this flicker is super strong. Some flicker is still present, but I'm glad to show you what you can do if you have a clip with such intense flicker. From here, you need to create several variants of filtration. You'll see why in a second. In variant number one, set the temporal radius to three. In variant number two, set it to four. And the last one should have radius of 5. Now, click each variant to see which radius gives you the best result. 1, 2, and 3. I'm not sure you can see it due to YouTube's compression, but for me, the winner is variant number 2 with a radius of 4. That's all. If you're satisfied with the result, just click Apply and continue with your edit. This is our first clip with local flicker before Neat Video. Now, the same clip after Neat Video was applied. And this is the second clip before, 
after, all the flicker is gone. That's it, guys. We hope you found this tutorial helpful. Please hit the subscribe button for more. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. We'll be happy to help. And bye for now.